So I had zero strategy or, or thesis at the beginning. I think like a lot of angel investors here, or a lot of entrepreneurs who are still very busy with their companies, you take that as a, a bonus to the community, like giving back. And that's how I started. I was mentoring a lot of different accelerators, incubators, so I was exposed to some interesting companies and got to know a lot of founders this way. I remember the early days of Sitcam, for example, where we would all meet with other very talented mentors. There were about, I don't know, 200 people probably mentoring 10 to 20 companies in, in the building at Google, I think at the time in London. Great experience, very time constrained, high intensity meetings, but a lot of learnings from that, from being exposed to other mentors and to giving our feedback to, to companies. So that slowly started developing my view of what good angel investment means. And maybe the first thing I did to strategize a bit more was to actually allocate myself a budget before it was totally random. I would get a deck from someone, a VC, a friend, another angel, an operator, make a decision quickly, didn't keep track of anything in, no, in spreadsheets or things like that. So first of all, I, I think it was 2018 when I started thinking about joining a, a venture fund and I became a venture partner at Index to do that. And that's when I needed to show them my track record. So I, I started <laughs> looking into all my <laughs> folders and documents and recording when I invested in. I only had 20, 25 or 30 investments at that time, but it still was a lot of work to compile it. If you were quote unquote, so unstructured with, with, you know, keeping track of it as, as in terms of keeping a track record and so on, how did you manage the, you know, your value add to them? Was that also more ad hoc? If, you know, if they emailed, if they called me that that's, that's perfect. If not, then. It's still the case today. Like I've, I found many founders think they're going to need you, but in the end they don't. And technology is much easier, I would say, today to build than it used to be. So I get very rarely get questions about how to build something or how to host it, or like there's so many solutions with all the cloud providers and so much resources online that this is not a problem usually. The, my biggest value, I think, for founders is connections with the, the venture world. Yeah. Opening doors to VCs, being a, a gauge of quality when people get your email because they know you're not investing yeah. haphazardly and that you've actually think the company has great potential and not just yeah. because you're trying to have a multiple on your portfolio. So it really depends. Some some founders need a lot more work, a lot more help. Sorry, and I get more invested, but it's usually quite cyclical. Like they need punctual help for doing a specific thing, either fundraising, yeah. changes strategy, product roadmaps, things like that, where I, I match with their needs. And then on, on the investment scope, like, do you think about it bottom up in terms of just the best founders that get sourced by people you respect and appreciate, or do you have any specific focus areas? I, d I didn't used to have any, so I would just be on the receiving end of a lot of intros and taking the opportunities to have a chat and decide to invest. So that was the extent of my strategy, I would say. Now it's much more, I would say, structured to have a budget for the year. I have a target of com number of companies. I only invest in climate tech now, so I, I've decided to focus 18 months ago. I got a little tired, I would say, of looking at software projects. And, and I saw the trend of more and more hardware startups being founded by people coming from tech, traditional software tech, I would say, and bringing the same types of values of startup building into the hardware and deep tech space. So I'm quite excited about the potential there. I think it, it's also good for the planet, which I always have kept in mind in my career. Like I want to do something positive for, for the world. And I thought my money was better spent in projects that have a bigger impact on, on climate. 